What's now 244 acres of dirt could soon become the gem of downtown. Sacramento's rail yard project is moving full speed ahead, promising a hospital, soccer stadium, and plenty of housing. But not everyone loves the idea. For me personally, I think traffic. Jordan Hetherington and his pooch peanut live in the nearby Alkali Flats neighborhood. According to a newly released environmental impact report, the area will see an increase in noise, air, and light pollution in addition to traffic. I commute daily right around this area and it, it's going to add more time to my commute going to and from work. Specifically, the plan calls for 10 new housing units, nearly 4.8 million square feet of office space, 1,100 hotel rooms, plus retail and open space. Alan Hirsch is the project developer. Initially, you'll see five-story housing, and over time, I think, especially as we get to the waterfront, you may see 10, 15-story apartments and condominiums. For more than 125 years, this area was used by the railroads in part as a dumping ground for hazardous chemicals. While most of them have been cleaned up, some of them still remain how the site could be used with a major hospital there. Residents and city leaders discussed the ins and outs of the project at a well-attended open house Wednesday. Many came with questions and concerns. I'm hoping to hear a certain percentage of the housing is going to be for low income, so you know students and low-income families can live downtown. While some see the economic benefit the project will provide, for Hetherington, it isn't worth it. Sounds like more cons that are going to outweigh the pros in this situation. Others can't contain their enthusiasm. This city is going to be amazing. I think I, I'm so excited, man. A long overdue boost that's no longer a matter of if, but when. Now, assuming all the plans get approved by the city, the first construction out here could begin in 2018. That would include the housing, retail, and hospital. However, the soccer stadium is contingent upon the Major League Soccer actually adding the FC Republic as part of its league. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.